How about that win? Yeah. I think it was a win that we all hoped for and maybe expected, yes. but perhaps a little earlier and bigger than any of us would have expected. I just want to, I want to thank all of you for being here and thank you for your support. Most important, I want to thank you, the people of Arkansas. I'm humbled by your trust and confidence. It's a true honor to serve this state we all call home. Every election is about a choice, a choice for the people. In this election, the people had a choice between two ways of governing and two ways of living. The choice about the equal rights that God granted us, Amen. that the Declaration proclaims and that the Constitution protects. Amen. Indeed, that's Amen. right. A choice, a choice to live as a free people and to govern ourselves freely yeah. under the greatest Constitution in history. Yeah. Yeah. People of Arkansas tonight have made their choice. We have again chosen constitutional self-government, yeah. which allows each of us to flourish according to his abilities and in industry, to live with the blessings of civil and religious liberty, to live as free men and women under law, and to control our government rather than be controlled by it. this campaign, Arkansans have told me they're ready for America to again be a great, strong, and prosperous country. We reject the pessimism and defeatism inherent in the other way of governing, the centralizing and bureaucratic rule of presumed elites. This other form of government through taxing and spending and regulating now consumes nearly half the fruits of all our labors and all our savings. It, it intrudes on private life. Every community, every business, every school, every person gets unwanted instru instructions from on high, from unaccountable and unelected elites. This other form of government always wants to help, but is always hindering. Yep. Constantly seeks to aid, but constantly ends up constraining. We may gain some material security, by choosing this other form of government. But under it, there is no true security for anyone. Because a, a government big enough, big enough to grant everything is big enough to take away anything. Exactly. Right. In, this campaign, in this campaign, I've contended, if we choose this form of government, We'll spend so much trying to make us all the same that we'll all be impo impoverished and elevate the presumed elites further still. Our country will be too poor to defend itself from enemies that multiply abroad, too diffident to protect our borders and provide opportunity to our citizens, and too sluggish to care for the needy and provide work to the able. But our Kansans know that decline is a choice, and tonight we have resoundingly rejected it. are a free people, and tonight we have once again chosen a free government, one that is limited in scope, yet strong and competent in its rightful duties. We have chosen a government that aids our fellow citizens who are struggling without overwhelming them or taking away their freedom, or everyone else's freedom in the process. Our Kansans have chosen a government that protects all the things that we hold dear and in common. Our natural rights, the national defense, a system of free enterprise built on private property rights, yep. not special privileges, yeah. and, and the right the right to think our thoughts and speak our mind and pray our prayers and raise our kids according to our faith and our conscience. To do these 
these things does not require a relentlessly centralizing bureaucratic administration of supposed elites. In fact, it requires the exact opposite, yeah. constitutional self-government. Yes. That's the choice that we have faced. This election was not so much about Mark Pryor or about me, but about you and about how we choose to govern and live as a people. Earlier tonight, I received a gracious call from Senator Pryor. I commend him for a spirited campaign. And, along with every other Arkansan, I thank him and his family for their years of service to our wonderful state. <laughs> Senator Pryor and his family will be in my family's prayers, as I know they'll be in your family's prayers. I also want to thank everyone who made this night possible. My whole team, for whom the hours were very long, but the pay was very low. <laughs> but, but these great young people didn't work for me. They worked for you and the people of Arkansas. wonderful volunteers all around the state who worked in these last hours, days, weekend, weeks, months, over the last year. Wonderful women like Betty Daly and Ann Griffin. And so, and so, and so, and so, and so many others who gave of themselves, worked so hard and sacrificially for our campaign. And to the people of Dardanelle and Yale County, who supported me not just in this campaign, but over the course of my entire life. And I thank you, the people of Arkansas, for now bestowing upon me the privilege to serve you. I recognize, I recognize that not everyone voted for me tonight, but the season for campaigning has ended. Now we begin the serious work of governing to improve the lives of all our people in every station and season of life. I will serve and represent every Arkansan, Democrat, Republican, and everyone else. Well, while I am a proud Republican, you have elected me to represent Arkansas in the United States Senate, and it is Arkansas who I will represent. Tonight, this victory belongs to you, the citizens of Arkansas, to all the families who are struggling to make ends meet, to the workers and the businesses who are just barely holding on, to the young and the old who dream and still believe America is the greatest country on earth, where all things are possible. I will work to make that dream a reality again for each of you. I will not forget that it was you who elected me to the Senate, and it is you to whom I will listen every day. Of course, of course, of course, none of you will agree with every vote I cast or every word I speak. But as I have for the last two years, so I will for the next six. I will act upon my conscience, my judgment, my unbiased opinion, and explain my reasoning forthrightly and frankly. And while we may, on occasion, disagree, I firmly hope I will never disappoint. I know many of you are cynical about our politics today, sadly, with much good cause. I won't promise to heal the planet or repair every broken institution, but I will promise to act with integrity and in principle and to use politics as an instrument to unite us, not a weapon to divide us. <laughs> Together, I hope we can turn that cynicism into a traditional and healthy skepticism that recognizes men are not angels, yet also appeals to the better angels of our nature. I have served you before in distant lands, 
where troops tonight bravely defend this free government of ours. My heart is filled with gratitude for them, my old battle buddies, for my parents and my sister, who have loved and supported me, and for my wife Anna, whose love sustains me and completes me. And beloved country, whose promise I will always cherish, whose blessings I will never forget, and whose call I will always heed. And especially tonight, my heart is filled with gratitude for you for allowing me to answer that call again. Thank you all. God bless you.